Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel and thanks so much for joining me for today's video which is going to be my Christmas Beauty Advent Calendar Unboxing Part 2. So in case you missed it, I'm going to leave Part 1 linked down below. I opened up calendars such as The Body Shop, Charlotte Tilbury, Clarins and loads loads more in that video so make sure you check that out if you would like to see Part 1. And Part 2 is coming your way now because there are just so so many beauty advent calendars on the market this year. So many brands are bringing out their own calendars and more than ever the choice is so 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 hard. If you do want to pick up an advent calendar, some of them are really expensive, you just don't really know what you're going to get. So hopefully this video and the previous video will help you decide which beauty advent calendar is for you. So as I did last time, I'm going to start by just whizzing over which calendars are going to be featured in this video. And then once again, I will open up a few doors to let you know what kind of things you can expect to buy inside. As with last time, every single link to buy the calendars will be down below in the description box. And I cannot stress this enough, so many of these calendars sell out so, so, so quickly. So if you do fall in love with any of them, then don't hang around because I would hate for you to be left disappointed. I know a few of them that I mentioned in last video, they have actually sold out and where possible, if I see them selling out on one website, I'll update the link to a website where they are not sold out yet. So definitely keep an eye on the links below if you want to shop any of these calendars. I've also decided this year that I'm going to be giving away every single beauty advent calendar and what's inside it. So if you'd like to be in with a chance of winning and to find out how to enter, then just stick around because I'll be talking through the giveaway towards the end of this video. So I'm going to get started by just very quickly whizzing through the calendars that are going to be featured in this video. Firstly, I have got the Benefit Beauty Advent Calendar. This one, I have never had a beauty advent calendar from Benefit before, so really, really excited to see what kind of bits and bobs are going to be in this one. Then I have got the Ciate Nail Varnish uh, Mini Manny Month Calendar. This one doesn't really specify that it's a Christmas calendar, it just says Manny Month, so I guess you could technically open this any time of year, but I'm gonna save it for Christmas. So that's the Mini Manny Month from Ciate. Then we have an absolutely ginormous one. This is the Beauty Secret from Look Fantastic. This one was actually my first ever beauty advent calendar before I was even blogging or maybe I'd only just started blogging Charlie actually bought me this one um, for me to have as my beauty advent calendar so it'll always hold a special place in my heart and I just love the packaging of this year's one it's like white and rose gold so very much up my street next I have the sanctuary spa let go days of Christmas I don't really know what the hashtag let go is all about but I'm sure we'll find out this is another really really big one um, and by the looks of it there's gonna be a lot of products inside I think this is probably a 24 or 25 day calendar then I've got the ASOS calendar this one I'm really looking forward to seeing what's inside there are so many amazing brands stocked on ASOS so I've got very high hopes for the ASOS advent calendar next is molten brown and this one just looks so so luxurious I love this dark dark green it's just so luxurious looking and it's got these beautiful bells and ribbon on the front there very festive and luxurious one from molten brown also really really heavy and last but not least this one here is from Marks and Spencer and I've already had um, a few glimpses as to what's inside because I've seen a few other bloggers and YouTubers going through this one and I have very very high hopes for this so really excited to go through the Marks and Spencer one. So let's get started with the Benefit Advent Calendar. This one is to be honest, this is probably the cheapest packaging looking one. It's very thin cardboard, so it doesn't feel as like high quality as a lot of the others. Um, but hopefully what's inside will make up for that. I do love this lime green and pink, very fun packaging. And then inside, you've got this really, oh! <laughs> you can tell I haven't opened that one before. I was not expecting that to happen. Um, so you have got a musical jingle going on inside. And you have got 12, Okay, I can't open it without it starting to sing, but inside, there we go, sneak peek, is 12 Days of Christmas. Oh my god. We seem to have a moment of silence. I'm going to get started by opening up number 9. I'm just opening these in complete random order, just whichever ones I fancy. So you can have a little look what's inside. 
And for day number nine, we have got the Benefit It's Potent Eye Cream. And this is of course a mini, but it looks like a really generous sample size when you consider that the full size of these isn't actually that ginormous. This is a pretty generous sample. Not too sure how many milliliters this is, but it's that big and definitely a good one for popping in your <laughs> Definitely a good size of popping in your travel bag. This could come in really, really handy. And I like that they've not done um, like a cheaper alternative for the packaging. It's still in the glass bottle that you'd expect to buy if you got the full size version and plenty of product inside as well. And I've not actually tried this eye cream before. I've heard loads of really good things about it. So I'm going to really look forward to giving this a try from the Benefit calendar. <laughs> That could get very annoying every day during Christmas. It's gonna let it carry on doing its thing and I'm gonna open up day number 11. Ooh. Okay, so inside, inside day number 11, this is a really exciting one because I absolutely love Benefit blushes, but for traveling or just even normal storage, they are far too big in those big boxes. But this is a little Benefit dandelion blush in this tiny, cute little flat packaging. So really adorable, very travel friendly packaging. And yeah, the blusher inside, there's no lid of course in the mirror, mirror in the lid like in the proper one, but you can definitely sacrifice that considering how cute and dinky it is. But this is actually a really good size blusher. It's only a little bit smaller than what you would get in the actual full size product. Um, baby pink brightening face powder. Oh, that's interesting. So it says it's a face powder, but I've always used dandelion as a blusher. Has anyone used it as a powder? Let me know in the comments if you have done, because I've always used it as a blush. Next, I'm going to open up number four. I'm trying really hard not to make it start singing, because once it starts, it does not want to stop. Oh my God. Aha, so in day number four, 4th of December, we have the miniature of the Their Real Mascara. Now this, I have to say, you do actually get these sizes with magazines sometimes. I think it's L, um, often give benefit samples, and this is the same size. So actually, you could get this from a magazine if you get one at the right time. But having said that, I'm still very grateful to see this in the calendar because I do love this mascara. It is Definitely in my top five mascaras ever. My top one is actually Benefit Roller Lash, which I just love in brown. It's my current favorite go-to mascara. Um, but this is really handy to have in your handbag sometimes after the gym. If I've got meetings, I'm not going home after the gym before going out. This is so, so handy to have in my bag. And I do actually find that you get a lot of use out of these minis. So having said that you get it from magazines, that's probably me being a bit harsh, even though you do, but it's still a very, very handy thing to get inside your advent calendar. And great if you've not tried it before, but warning, you will probably become addicted to it. I've also just realized that the lyrics from the song inside the calendar is on the back, so if you fancy a little sing-along, then here they are. Next, let's have a little look at what's inside the Look Fantastic Beauty Secrets calendar. This one is absolutely ginormous, so I have a feeling that there's going to be quite a lot of decent-sized products in here. As I mentioned before, it's just absolutely beautiful. I think this is the most gorgeous box and definitely one that... Ugh, it's such a shame because I wish they'd done it as drawers because then I would have used it um, in future years as well. Whereas you can't really give someone a calendar that's already been opened. But I think these bits will come out. Yeah, so actually you could just use it as a storage box afterwards because anything rose gold I cannot bring myself to throw away. So this one does actually have 25 days, so you do get something to open up on Christmas Day, which I absolutely love. I think it's such a shame to go all the way up to 24 and then not have anything to open on Christmas Day itself. So I am going to open up day number 11 because it's right here in front of me. Oh, I've ripped it already. Aha! It does not look like something I recognise, which is amazing. It's always nice to try new things. This is Christoph Robin Regenerating Mask with Rare Prickly Pear Seed Oil. Now, I don't know if this is a face mask. Oh no, apply a small amount after shampooing. So this is a lovely uh, regenerating hair mask. I have a feeling this is actually a fairly pricey high-end product. So by giving this amount, and this is, let me have a little look. This is 50 ml, so pretty generous sample of this product. And it's definitely enough in there for a couple of washes so it can give you a good idea as to whether it is a good product or not. Now let's have a look inside day number three. This is actually a really big one, so let's have a little look. Oh, I think I've actually tried this before. This is, let me just pull it out, 
So inside here we have a loose mineral blush from a brand called Inica, and I have tried this brand before, but I don't think I've tried their blushes. I have a feeling it was just one of their powders that I tried before, and this is a mineral-based brand, so the products are really nice and nourishing for the skin, they don't block up the pores, and I'm pretty sure that this is a brand that not everyone has heard of, so really lovely that you get to try it out in your calendar, and who knows, could potentially become a new favourite. I guess in that way, beauty advent calendars are a little bit like beauty boxes, but just intensely in the month of December because beauty boxes are a great way of discovering new brands and trying out new minis before getting the full size version so yeah beauty advent calendars are kind of a better version of monthly beauty boxes. I'm gonna open up um, number 23 because this is absolutely massive and I'm dying to see what's inside here. Ah, this is really, really handy. So this is a mini sachet of Ole Henriksen Clean Truth Cleansing Cloths. These are just the handiest things in the world and they smell so, so, so good. And once again, this is a really generous size for, um, for a beauty advent calendar. I think this is probably the same size you would get in a beauty box, but a really high-end product. So very, very generous. I've looked fantastic to put those in there. And then because there are 25 days on this calendar, I am gonna open up one more. So let's have a look. Let's try a smaller one this time. I'm gonna open up number one. And inside, oh gosh, this is a good way to start. We have the Pixie Glow Tonic, and this is a real cult product. Beauty bloggers absolutely love this, and for good reason. It's one of my favorite toners ever. Um, and actually, I've run out of this, so I'm gonna start using this little miniature, put it in my travel bag. Honestly, after Christmas, you never need to buy travel sizes again because you have so, so many from the calendars. I'm actually still going through some Kerastars samples, which I got in last year's um, Kerastars calendar. I don't know if they're bringing one out this year. I'm not sure. You have to let me know if you've seen it. So that's all I'm going to show you from the Look Fantastic Advent Calendar. I was really, really impressed with mine last year, and this one I think is going to be a real treat as well. So definitely make sure that you don't hang around if you want to get this one. I'll leave the link down below to buy it. I think this one is going to sell out really, really soon. I think last year it sold out in like two weeks. So definitely don't hang around, and this is notoriously one of my favourites, and so many amazing brands, it's ginormous, it's beautiful, and yeah, definitely recommend the Look Fantastic one. Next I'm going to have a little look inside the Marks and Spencer one, and this one, I think it has 24 days, I can't see number 25, although having said that I can't see number 24 either, oh yeah, 24, oh my gosh, it does have 25, just spotted Christmas Day here, so lots and lots to open up from the Marks and Spencer advent calendar, I love the shape of this one, it's almost like its own Christmas decoration, really nice that it stands up as well, because sometimes you just run out of room for beauty advent calendars, they definitely take up a lot of space, especially that look fantastic one, I know that during Vlogmas my dining table is going to be covered in beauty advent calendars, so that I don't ruin the pyramid of this. I'm going to start by taking number 21 and that one was pretty close to the top. This feels quite light so I'm thinking it might be like a makeup brush or something. Let's have a little look. Ooh. So we have a parcel within a parcel, like a little parcel parcel. And inside, very very tiny but it's a very good brand, this is the Pure Correcting Primer prep and perfect and primer is one thing that I always forget to take with me on a holiday so I guess if I had one this tiny then it would remind me to just stick it in my travel bag or I could probably just leave it in my travel bag and if you've never really tried primer before then this will be a really good opportunity for you to give it a go for the first time and see whether your skin prefers it whether your makeup lasts longer and I really do love pure as a brand I think there are another mineral based one so really good for preventing your makeup from just clogging up your skin cells so let's also have a look in this one. This is number four and it was the pyramid at the top of the tree. Another fairly light one. Let's have a little look. Aha! So we have another pixie product. We have the glow tonic in the fantastic one and this is their brow tamer. This probably is full size actually. It looks like a fairly decent generous size and this is a clear brow gel so something that everyone can use to just tidy up those brows during the festive months and beyond. Next I'm going to go for one of these ones down at the bottom because they're separated out so it's not going to cause an avalanche. This one feels like it's got something a little bit bigger inside. I've gone for number 14. So this feels chunky and inside we have got 
Oh la la, we have got a Nooks multi-purpose dry oil. I think we had one of these, maybe not quite so big, in the Nooks advent calendar that I opened in the last video, but I absolutely love this. A multi-purpose oil is good for so many things. Use it on your hair, you can use it because it smells nice, use it as like a body lotion or on your cuticles. Absolutely love this, really, really handy, and you could almost fit this size in your handbag as well. So very impressed with my pieces so far from the M&S calendar. And then I'm gonna go for number one. So I feel like they always put something quite good in the first day because then it just gives you something to look forward to for the rest of the month, sets the bar as it were. And inside here we have Neil's Yard, absolutely love Neil's Yard. And also I'm so impressed with the range from Marks and Spencer. I never would have realized that Neil's Yard was sold there, but this is their be lovely to your hands hand cream save the bees that's really really cute so this is kind of a charity one um moisturizing with organic honey blended with energizing orange i bet this smells so so good so yes a lovely one to start off the festivities with marks and spencer so having done a lot of research into different beauty advent calendars i feel that this one is a really really good value. It's not one of these ones which is crazy expensive, it's not like £150 and you do still get a lot of amazing products. So personally, I think if I had to choose one out of all the calendars, I would probably go for this one due to its affordability and range of products, but it totally depends on your preference and your budget, but personally, definitely recommend this one. Although I recommend all of them, they're all so so nice, but yeah, this is a favourite. Next I'm going to have a look inside the Ciate Mini Manny Month Calendar and I'm guessing that this is going to be all nail varnishes so a great opportunity to add some new colours into your nail varnish collection. So the first one I'm going to open is number 8. This one as is the others is kind of like a purple and gold colour, really really beautiful colourings and it has a little quote on the back which says though she is Though she be but little, she is fierce by William Shakespeare. And I have a feeling that we've seen this quote before really recently. I think it might have been on one of the body shop advent calendars that also had quotes on them. Um, but I may be wrong, but I've definitely heard that quote really recently. So let's have a look what colour we've got inside number eight. This is not a shade that I currently have in my collection, so it's always nice to have little minis of these unusual shades, which is what this calendar is really, really good for. I may not necessarily have gone out and bought this colour, but if I want to do any nail art or anything, with a bright blue colour. It's always handy to have a few different shades in your collection. So now I have a bright cobalt blue and I'm intrigued why some of them aren't nail varnish shaped. So I'm going to open number two which says we're all about rollers, red nails and rom-coms. I don't know where that quote's from but that's the quote behind day number two. And in here, aha, it is another nail varnish but it's uh, just packaged in a different way. And this one is a very vixen-like bright red, a very festive red colour, but also a little bit corally, so really nice for summer holidays as well. This is definitely like a toe colour for me. I love to wear bright reds on my toes. I think it's just a really glamorous, classic shade to wear, so that's a nice one to add into my collection. And I'm going to open at number 24 as well. I feel like this might be a full size one. Yes, I think I'm right. This, wow, oh my god, that is so me. This is a full size Ciate London paint pot in the shade Meet Me at Midnight. I absolutely love this. It's like a pinky gold with a rose gold lid. Really nice treat on Christmas Eve to get a full size one. I think if you know anybody that is obsessed with nails, this is just such a nice way to give them loads of new colours to add to your collection. And I probably would never have gone out and bought this shade because I'm not really a glitter person, but now that I've got this full size one, it's definitely gonna spur me on to do something a little bit more unusual with my nails this Christmas time. So beautiful selection of nail varnishes from Ciate. I'm sorry if you can hear squeaking by the way, Charlie is upstairs sorting out his wardrobe and we have really, really creaky floorboards so apologies if you can hear that in the background. Next I'm going to show you guys the ASOS Beauty Advent Calendar. This one is probably the most chic packaging of them all, although I do find the look fantastic one very chic too. But this one's like black and white monochrome, mono, monochrome, <laughs> monochrome um, with a kind of marbly effect down at the bottom so they've definitely made this Instagrammable, very wise ASOS. And having looked down at the side here, it looks like there's some really, really good brands in here. Got Nooks, Lottie London, Balance Me, Nip and Fab. So I'm really excited to open up a few days from ASOS. Inside is black marble. I was not expecting that. Not very festive, I have to say, but beautiful nonetheless. I am going to open up number two. And let's see. Oh, very thick cardboard. Very satisfying. Wow. Very good sized product from what I can see. 
Except I can't get it out. There we go. There we go. So this is a Batiste Stylist Oomph My Locks XXL Plumping Powder. Once again, this is probably not something that I would have picked up from the shops just because I'm such a fan of my normal Batiste dry shampoo. So a really good way to give something a little bit different a try and who knows, may discover a new favorite. That's what I love about these calendars. And then I'm gonna go for day number nine. Oh, I've not heard of this one before. This is Glam Candy Hydrate Your Face Moisturizer. Cute little size. This one is 15 mil, but I think that's probably enough for like almost a month's use. And once again, this is a brand that I've not heard of or tried before, so a good excuse to try something new from the ASOS Advent Calendar. I'm also going to open up day number 18, because this is a ginormous one. Ah, and we have another mini packet of face wipes. This is from Yes2, and Yes2 is one of my favorite brands. These ones are 95% natural, which I absolutely love. They're really gentle on my skin. And I've not actually tried the cucumber face wipes before, but I feel like they'll be really nice and refreshing, potentially a new favourite. I think these would be really nice to keep in your handbag just in case for any midday emergencies and they do remove makeup as well so really handy size and very exciting thing to open up from your advent calendar. And I'm going to open up one more, I'm going to open up day number five. In here we have something I've not heard of before. Oh, Dermalogica, of course I've heard of Dermalogica. This is their Clear Start Breakout Clearing Foaming Wash. Not a product I've tried and not a range I've heard of before actually. I've heard of Dermalogica, but not this range. Um, but I do love foaming face washes. They're so good for using with your cleansing brushes. So a really nice size for me to give this one a try. So there you have a sneak peek into the ASOS Beauty Advent Calendar. I'm sure there are so, so many more amazing things inside. In fact, you can have a look on the back. So you've got Nude by Nature Finishing Powder, Model Co Lip Liner, Elemis Flash Balm, loads and loads of really amazing things in here. So definitely one to treat any beauty lovers that you may know of, or if you're a beauty lover yourself, a really good one to treat yourself to with lots of really, really nice brands in there. Philosophy, Murine, Egyptian Magic, Burt's Bees, Cowshed, so many amazing brands in there. Oh, that was so annoying. Just as I went to pick up the molten brown one, one of the doors fell open and half the things have fallen out. So I'm just gonna show you the half full advent calendar because I do not have the energy to pick up and try and reposition every single one. But, um, so they are loose boxes, as I've just found out. And this calendar is really, really heavy, so I feel like there's gonna be a lot of nice treats from Autumn Brown. I'm gonna start by opening up day number 18. All of these boxes are just so well made. It's just really beautiful textured card um, with a little 3D ribbon on it. So, so luxurious, as you'd expect from Autumn Brown. And let's see what we've got. Oh, that is so exciting. It is a little mi mini molten brown candle. I think from the looks of it, this is their pink peppercorn. Yes, pink peppercorn. Absolutely love this. How cute is this little dinky one? Really nice for traveling. Some people, I feel like I should have a pound every time I say it's good for traveling with these advent calendar videos. But honestly, it's so, so good to get these mini sizes because they're so handy to take with you no matter where you're off to. Personally, I really like to take a candle when I go traveling because it just helps me relax and reminds me of home. So this is definitely one for me to put in my suitcase for my next travels. But also if you just want to add a touch of luxury to your home and you love Morton Brown but maybe can't decide if you like a scent enough to get the full size version, this is a really lovely way to try it out. And it is the proper Morton Brown glass, um, what do you call it, holder? So yeah, they've not skimped on their minis, which I absolutely love, and the colour, so nice. Then I'm going to open up number seven, equally beautifully packaged. This one also feels sufficiently, this one also feels really satisfyingly heavy. And we've got, oh, delicious rhubarb and rose shower and bath gel. This is one of my favourite scents as well. In fact, I think I just love all Molten Brown scents. And there is nothing, oh my gosh. Oh, that is so good. There is nothing more luxurious than just foaming yourself up with Molten Brown Shower Gel. It's honestly one of life's little luxuries, so that's a really lovely treat. And you know what? If there are some that you are feeling particularly generous with, once you've opened it, you could always pop this in someone's stocking. I'm sure these would make amazing stocking fillers. 
but to be honest you probably want to keep them all for yourself because they are so nice and then finally I'm going to open up number three there are 24 in this calendar so very very generous tons of gifts oh I thought this was going to be another candle but it's actually the Ylang Ylang comforting body polisher and I've actually just finished my pink peppercorn body polisher so this has come at a perfect time I love the body brown and polishers because they're not too grainy they will feel really moisturizing and luxurious on the skin but then they still get the job done with exfoliation as well so the one that I just finished was like a cream with the exfoliating particles within it whereas this one is more of a clear gel with lots more of the exfoliating salts inside so I think this one oh I can feel it in my fingers very very grainy so good if you just want to give yourself a really really good scrub and really exfoliate away all your dead skin cells and have a lovely pamper with that heavenly molten brown fragrance and on the back it does give you a few ideas of what else you can expect so whereas I thought this would probably just be all body gels and candles you've actually got body polishers body lotions body wash um, mini candles just so many different things oh and even a fine liquid hand wash so you really do get to try out a lot of different things from the molten brown range by getting this candle such a lovely gift I think this is probably one of my oh I keep saying this one of my favorites there are so many good ones out there this year you guys have to let me know which ones your favorites are because I know that I just cannot decide and then finally we have the sanctuary spa let go days of Christmas and I just had a little read on the back and basically sanctuary spa want you to just relax relax and let it all go, let all your stresses go and have a little bit of me time this Christmas which is a really really nice idea. Breathe, relax and hashtag let go. That's such a nice way to encourage people to relax and pamper over this Christmas period so I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of really chilled out pampering bits and bobs in here so let's have a little look inside. Okay so inside let me open it up and show you. You have loads and loads of different doors. This one has 24, I think 24, can't see Christmas Day anywhere. So many different gifts and loads and loads of really good sizes. I absolutely love this orange and pink design as well. So beautiful and yet festive as well with the gold dots. So let's have a look inside number 23. <gasps> love this is one of my favorite all-time sanctuary spa products this is the gentle polish body scrub this smells so insanely good I cannot even describe it you can get this in boots so just pop by and give it a smell and, oh so good it makes my mouth water so that's a really really nice one to receive from the calendar really good size as well it's not a full size one but it is better than most minis that you get and as with most sanctuary products this is a natural scrub so there's no microbeads or anything that's harming to the environment in there so that's a really nice one and then let's open up number 16 because it's so so huge that's this one in this corner here Oh, one of my favourite things. This is a body, actually a mitt. Normally these come in like with fingers, so more of a glove. But this is an exfoliating body mitt, so perfect if you want to give yourself a bit of an exfoliation, but not as far as using a scrub. Personally, I use an exfoliating mitt every time I shower because it just helps to keep the skin cells regenerating without being as harsh as a scrub. So yeah, absolutely love these, so, so handy. And it'll be nice to use a mitt as opposed to a glove. That's not something I've actually tried before. Normally, I've got fingers on my gloves. And finally, the last one I'm going to be opening until Vlogmas. I'm going to open up number 17, 17 being one of my lucky numbers. So let's see, we have, oh, something I've not tried. This is the Cleanse Radiance Exfoliator Complexion Refreshing Scrub. So this is a face exfoliator, a really nice size. You're going to kill me with saying it again, but once again, great for traveling. You don't want to have your pores clogged when you're traveling. And I don't know about you, but I might take a cleanser with me traveling, but I very rarely will take an exfoliator. So this is a really good one to pack in your travel bags. I know, I know you're going to be so fed up with me saying that, but I'm sure this is going to be a really lovely fragrance product. I'm using my other hand to hold up the calendar, otherwise I would unscrew it and give it a smell. But judging on how the rest of the range smells, I'm sure this is absolutely heavenly. So the other things that we can expect in here include the detox mask, a heart-shaped cookie cutter, that's a really nice idea, a radiance exfoliator, intensive heel balm, and even a micellar water. So loads of really, really practical and usable pieces inside the sanctuary calendar. So that's it, guys. They are all the beauty advent calendars that I have to show you this year. If, on the off chance, I do get any more, then I will Snapchat 
opening a few of the doors so that you can get an idea of what's inside a few others but I'm not sure if there will be any more but just keep an eye on my snapchat just in case as always the link to that is down below make sure you're following that if you would like to be kept up to date with any beauty launches before I go I do want to let you know about the giveaway so basically every single day during vlogmas I'm going to be opening up the beauty advent calendars and then giving away every single prize that's inside and all you're going to have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel and retweet a certain tweet that I will tweet out every single day so if you want to make sure you're ready for these humongous giveaways there's gonna be 24 giveaways during the month of December then just make sure you're subscribed already I will leave a link down below to subscribe and also following me on Twitter so keep a look out for those giveaways during the month of December I'm so excited to open up all these calendars for real and share with you all the lovely prizes that are inside because there are so many amazing amazing bits and bobs to be had from this year's selection of beauty advent calendars if you guys enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up let me know in the comments below which out of both videos is your favorite advent calendar and if any others have caught your eyes let me know Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.